uh, in the last lecture we talked about uh, state space representations we learned how to obtain uh, state space models from uh, transfer functions we also learned how to obtain uh, transfer functions from state space representations we learned that uh, state space representation is not unique you can have several different uh, state space representations for the same system and uh, in fact you may have uh, infinite uh, state space uh, representations for uh, a system for example uh, we talked about uh, this transfer function and we learned how to obtain state space representation uh, uh, you remember the procedure from the uh, this transfer function you constructed a differential equation you defined state variables and then finally uh, you had a state space representation for this transfer function however this definition of state variables is not unique for example if uh, one, some student has defined uh, uh, c to be equal to x1 some other student could have defined c to be equal to some other variable x3 for example and maybe uh, he had uh, defined uh, c dot which is equal to x3 dot because c is equal to x3 so maybe he uh, renames x3 dot to be equal to x2 and likewise uh, uh, c double dot uh, is uh, by this expression it is equal to x2 dot and you may give it some other name for example x1 and in that case uh, this will be the state space representation so for a single system you can have several different state space representations this is one particular state space representation this is another state space representation for the same system so state space representations are not unique and among these state space representations some representations are of significant importance and those uh, 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 those representations are called canonical forms you have several different state space representations and among those representations some representations are of significant importance and those representations are called canonical form representations and in today's lecture we shall talk about canonical form representations of uh, uh, state space models uh, these canonical form representations include controllable canonical form, observable canonical form, diagonal canonical form, and uh, uh, Jordan canonical form. These are different state space representations of systems, and uh, these are uh, somehow more important because uh, these are utilized to design and analyze control systems. So let's uh, first talk about controllable canonical form. In fact, the procedure that we learned in our previous lectures that generated a state space representation, uh, which is called controllable canonical form representation. Uh, you remember the procedure? You have a differential equation. You had defined state variables in this particular way. And finally, you obtained the state equations and uh, this uh, state space representation uh, this state space representation uh, you had a special structure of this system matrix with the coefficients of this uh, differential equation in the last row uh, you had a special structure of this uh, input matrix b that is all entries zero except the last element this particular representation is called controllable canonical form and we have already talked about this particular state space representation uh, and uh, we also learned the procedure uh, to obtain a controllable canonical form representation from transfer function that was uh, simple so if we had uh, this transfer function uh, we were able to obtain its uh, uh, state space representation so we remember that we uh, write the uh, these coefficients uh, these uh, these coefficients in reverse order with negative sign uh, minus 16 and then minus 50 and minus 10 and likewise the uh, coefficients of the numerator polynomial are written in reverse order over here 
so this particular state space representation is called controllable canonical form we have uh, talked about all this procedure in much more details in our previous lectures so this is uh, all uh, that you know a uh, simple procedure uh, only you need to write the coefficients of this uh, uh, this denominator polynomial in the reverse order over here and uh, the coefficients of the numerator polynomial in reverse order over here to construct controllable canonical form representation of this transfer function.